there's nothing that you can do without Jesus. Even if you are powerful today, without Jesus, tomorrow, you'll not be powerful. Whether they are worshipping you today, if it is not Jesus they are worshipping, tomorrow, there will be no one to worship you. Whatever you become today, you must embrace the life of Jesus. If you are living in sin now, you are denying Jesus. You are telling that you died for nothing. No one can live above his what? His weakness. Only Jesus. This is why even our leaders must accept Jesus. Not just a mere confession that I love Jesus. No. Because if your weakness is money, Satan will use that weakness to trap you. If your weakness is the spirit of lust, Satan will use that one to lead you to sin. Any weakness that you are calling, you cannot live above that weakness. If it is anger, Satan will continue using anger to destroy you. There is no way you can trust your mind and the level of your education to be a perfect human being here on earth. No. Not until you allow Jesus who can live above temptations, above persecutions, rejection, even where they are rejecting him, Jesus will not feel any pain. Where they are gossiping about him, he will not be angry. Even those who, who you know who hate you, who are opposing you, because you live above the weakness, you love them. Even where you know you are offended, you are being offended by someone, learn to live like Christ. Because that is what Jesus came for. There is no human being who has no weakness. Your weakness can go to sleep when Jesus comes upon your life. That's when your weakness will be powerless. The perfect life, the hope of life, that is Jesus himself. The power of life will take over. Where you are weak, you make you strong. If care is not you know, taken, the same weakness that you are nursing can lead to sin. So stop nursing your weakness. Surrender it to Jesus. No one can live above his weakness or our weakness. What you are doing today is what will represent God in your life. Even on the last day, your activities, the work that you are doing will be there as a witness. Remember that the end of everything is better than its beginning. So think about your end before you think about your today.